Hello, my name is Sally Nobinger. I teach Level 4 English at the Immigrant Learning Center, and I want to tell you about two of my heroes. The first is my student Veronica from Colombia. In March 2020, she was hired by Mass General Hospital. After working at the hospital only a few weeks, Veronica contracted COVID-19, followed by her husband, son, and in-laws. It was a terrifying time. Veronica told me her biggest fear was that she and her husband would be incapacitated and there would be no one to care for her young son. Three weeks after she started showing symptoms, Veronica returned to work at MGH. With no guarantee of immunity, it was a risky choice, and I admire her for it. Veronica cleans high traffic areas like bathrooms and procedure rooms. Every day she goes to work, she hopes she can save others from the suffering her family experienced. I'm grateful for people like Veronica, willing to do the dirty work. Without them, this pandemic would have been a lot worse. You know what else I'm grateful for? The U.S. mail. While sheltering at home last year, we went online for everything from toilet paper to life-saving medicines to little luxuries to cheer ourselves up. And we've cheered each other up with care packages, cards, and letters. My student, Andrea, from Brazil, works at the post office separating and organizing letters and packages for distribution. Just like Veronica, she can't work from home. Even though people around her have gotten sick, including coworkers, she still goes to the post office. Sometimes she works from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. Even with cutbacks and under incredible pressure, postal workers like Andrea kept the mail coming, including a record number of mail-in ballots during the 2020 election. Hello, my name is Ann Walsh, and I am a volunteer at the Immigrant Learning Center. Last spring, when the ILC shifted classes online, I began tutoring two students by phone, Juliana and her husband, Jonathan, from Brazil. When everything seemed to be shutting down and my family was self-isolating at home, Juliana and Jonathan continued to work outside of the home. In March, Jonathan lost his job at VMT Construction and started delivering groceries for Instacart. Back when we didn't know exactly how COVID-19 was spread or how to keep ourselves safe, Jonathan was going into stores to shop and then deliver groceries so that his customers could stay safe. He had to learn a lot of food-related English words. Juliana worked in a nursing home, one of the riskiest places to be in a pandemic. She had to learn new medical vocabulary and stay current with constantly changing protocols to keep herself and her patients safe. I always feel like I get as much as I give when working with the ILC students, and that was particularly true this past year. It has been a confusing and isolating time. Working with Juliana and Jonathan has kept me connected to the world and brings light into the darkness for me and I'm sure everyone they encounter. Hello, my name is Anna. As an English teacher at the Immigrant Learning Center, I am often impressed by my students' work ethics and many contributions. I'm especially proud of Renata. When Renata told me that she was applying to be a home health aide for elderly people, I was worried since she will be working with a high risk population in the middle of a pandemic with cases rising. But Renata was more concerned about the people she could help. She was a healthcare worker in Brazil and was eager to return to helping people. When I saw how passionate she was about getting back into healthcare, I agreed to be her reference. Now, She's helping to take care of elderly people in their homes. She makes her patients food. She takes them to the doctor. She keeps them company and helps them in many other ways.
In spite of the risk, she's happy to be helping her vulnerable patients. I'm so proud of Renata. Hi, my name is Kathleen. I teach citizenship at the Immigrant Learning Center. Did you know that immigrants make up one in five restaurant workers in Massachusetts? One of them is my student, Deepi, from Haiti. He's a chef, and he has worked continuously throughout this crisis. Restaurant workers like Deepi have put their own safety at risk to keep everyone fed during the pandemic. Maybe you have felt nervous about shopping in a crowded supermarket, or maybe you've experienced food shortages in your area. Maybe you've just gotten tired of cooking for yourself. Whatever your situation, you've probably counted on restaurants and their essential workers to keep you fed at some point during this year. I know I have. Without foreign born workers, our food system would be in crisis. Immigrants like Deepi have helped sustain all of us through this pandemic. Deepi knows people who have gotten sick with COVID-19 and he worries about his own son becoming ill. Even so, he's determined to continue working as a chef, serving up meals for people in his community. He's also determined to become a citizen, even passing up extra hours at work to stay in our online classes. He told me, I don't come to work just for the paycheck. I open my heart to the work. I take this business as my business. Immigrants like Deepi come to the United States to work and seek citizenship and contribute to their communities. And I'm proud to welcome them.